nice. You should open your heart. That wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Man Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So today, when it comes to WatchOS, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a new update that has just been released. And as you can see here, this is WatchOS 10 Developer Beta 6. The subsequent public beta has also just been released. So if you're on the developer or the public beta, you can get an update irregardless. And for me here on my Apple Watch Ultra, you can see the update size. It comes in at exactly 325 megabytes. And I was updating from WatchOS 10 Beta 5. This is the update size. And then if you want to see the download file size, it comes in at 5. 584.7 megabytes that's for me here and ios 17 beta 6 just came out today alongside the ipad os 17 beta 6 version unfortunately there's no mac os 14 beta 6 yet probably in a day or two and watch os 10 beta 6 this is the video for that and tvOS 17 beta 6 and if you have an older version of the apple watch or you are on watchOS 9 i'll be happy to let you know that apple has just released watchOS 9.6 beta 1 and this is to the public and most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so if you want to get to know your device and get to see what's new then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now let me do the update and then we'll get to see what are the new features as well as new changes with watchOS 10 beta 6. So just like that and our device is now up to date and if I show you the notification section here you can see your watch is up to date and let's quickly look at the software changes that this update has to offer. So if we go into general and go to about this watch you can see the new build number that we have and it's 21R5341C. So this build number ends with a C and before that on the previous watchOS 10 beta 5 we had an F so in a sense we took three steps in the positive direction which is a good thing. Now let's talk about the new features and changes that this update has to offer. The first one that I really didn't get a chance to record each and every new animation is the Snoopy watch face. So there's one where Snoopy comes and just lays in a pond and all the little birds come and surround Snoopy. Sometimes I notice some of the animations that I hear Snoopy is being nice and then at other times Snoopy is not so nice. Other times Snoopy is really being creative playing different sports or golf like you just saw sometimes he's surfing sometimes he's golfing or he's skating along the arms or sometimes Snoopy is just moody and that is dependent also on the weather and the different activities that you have set so check out the Snoopy watch face if you have updated your device as there are many different Snoopy animation that this watch always 10 beta 6 and beta 5 ads that I you know are really hard to come by because you have to keep raising and lowering your hand sometimes it's really hard to capture all the new ones because there's just so many within this update now the second thing that I would like to show you here on my device I'll have to bring my iPhone close by but if I unlock the device here and show you this you will notice that Aaron actually mentions that um, there is a new diagnostic image for the Apple watch in the latest iOS update and just by looking at it it looks familiar because if you go to the watch page here you can see that this looks like the palette watch face and that is the new diagnostics uh, page or image that is here with the, within the latest iOS version which is a bit odd. There is an update when it comes to airdrop and privacy policy that Apple has released. In fact if you go to the images you actually be able to see the released page about airdrop and privacy and if you're wondering where this comes in with the Apple watch I'll be happy to let you know that Aaron again shout out to Aaron he's really good. You can see with the previous beta watchOS 10 beta 5 adds this Apple Watch support for name drop. So the same way you can bring two iPhones that are on iOS 17 together to share a contact. You can do the same 
whether it's an iPhone and an Apple Watch together like this and they will be able to name, drop or share contacts or it can be an Apple Watch that's on watchOS 10 and another Apple Watch that's on watchOS 10 and they will be able to support and have this name drop. But since I have just one device that I'm testing on watchOS 10, I haven't really had much success with it because my Apple ID and my contacts are more or less the same. But it's something to try out with your friends or if you have multiple devices it's pretty cool and you can try it out if you use maps a lot on your iphone and you actually download it on your device there's minor wording changes as to where how to access and enable as well as disable offline maps and even use offline maps when you are in an area where you have good coverage or cellular coverage also with this update there's a new ticker code name for the apple watch when it comes to family setup so again just minor wording changes and nothing major when it comes to the update in itself now uh i don't know if this is something new or i haven't been using this app for a while now but when it comes to shazam it does have a slightly different tone when it identifies a tune so Try it out and you'll be able to see it. And also when it comes to the now playing screen on watchOS 10, I notice it depends on the different application that you are using, but there's a different screen that is being displayed with more information and description as the audio or video that you are playing from the different apps shows which is a pretty cool thing. And when it comes to some of the fixes that this update has to offer, it has to do with third party applications that require access to different movements in order to help diagnose different diseases. So there was an issue where third party applications couldn't have full access, but with this update, that issue has been resolved and it should be able to track more metrics and movements or if you have different symptoms and you have third party application should be working better than the previous update and something i have to mention with this update i'll just go to the snoopy watch face but a cool thing that i noticed here is that irregardless of the watch face here i noticed that the widgets aren't as stuttery as before so it's fluid and more smooth unlike what was there before which is a good thing now that's basically about it you can see another animation here with the snoopy watch face they are ready for work or wearing some construction hats but yeah this is how the update has been for me in case you are wondering when the next update is going to come out watch os 10 beta 7 you can see today is the 15th so beta 7 i'm expecting it somewhere next week around the 22nd of august and then if there is an apple event that's coming out or that's going to be announced on the 12th of september then maybe the week after that we might see this update being released meaning the rc version might come out soon after the event or so on but this is how it's been on my Apple Watch Ultra. I'll keep you updated if I see anything major and if I do see this update affecting performance or battery. But other than that, this it's been pretty solid on my Apple Watch Ultra and my battery health. Well, this watch is built like a tank. You can see since the release, I've, been, I've had it on a beta and it's still on 100%. Unlike the iPhone 14 that's already on like 88 or something like that. So this is how it's been for me on my device let me know whether you are going to be updating or not and right here you can see my battery health on my iphone 14 pro so stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace it don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the papa leader red. I only meditate some killage vanilla. Don't spill the conscious, steal the keys. Once was affected, I no longer breathe. I'm wide awake in the atmosphere. Solitary, sick and tired of waving, seated like the navy. We don't like to try to split conversations, flipping on the Bible page.